All right, welcome back guys. We are installing 800 watts of solar today, so let's get going. So originally these panels come silver from Craig Solar, but we spent most of yesterday painting all the panels and painting some brackets so they are black to match the aluminium extrusion. They are now pretty good. The plan is fairly simple. We got these aluminium angle brackets. They're gonna go directly onto the aluminium extrusion. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description of us installing it. And then we'll have a washer, a 16 mil, I think, screw. And then this thing slots into the aluminium and we're just gonna screw that on. So then we got a bracket mounted to the aluminium extrusion. And now we just need to fix it to a solar panel. To fix it to a solar panel, we're going to use these guys, which are M8 Rivnuts. So I need to install these into the solar panel, drill a hole, and then attach it. And then that's going to go there. And we're going to use an M8 25mm bolt to go through there. Now, as you can see, they're a bit too tight here, so I have to make these slightly bigger. That will go through and screw into the Rivnut. So we're gonna have four of these per solar panel. And then once this is all screwed on, I got some of these caps, which attach like so. Give us a nice, neat finish. That's why yesterday I just spent some time painting the edges, the backs and the insides don't really matter because you're only gonna see that. So that's the plan for now. And let's crack on. First thing first, I need to clean this filthy roof. Look at that, even the sun come out for us. About halfway done. This side is looking pretty good. And now we're gonna do, this side is still proper filthy. sorted on to the next job so unfortunately the camera cut out where i explain exactly what i'm doing but i just had to measure exactly where the bracket needed to go to line up with the aluminium extrusion and then i drill a small pilot hole then a bigger hole for the riv nut to go in once i have the 11 millimeter holes for the m8 riv nuts i just insert the riv nuts with the riv nut tool and we're good to go okay cool so the riv nuts are on on this panel to change things up i'm gonna go and try to put this up on my own <laughs> okay so before we go up there let's mount these brackets to the solar panel m8 bolts with a lock washer and i drill those out so they go through bracket goes on there and we just screw it on. I won't tighten it too much because we might have to slightly adjust it once we get it up. But yeah, now we just need to do this four more times. Cool, our brackets are on. And now before we go up, we need to make sure we have everything we need because we are on our own. Got four of the nuts that drop into the aluminium extrusion four washers, four M6 bolts, and then I got these cover caps as well. So yeah, now that we have everything that we need, wish me luck uh, trying to get this solar panel up there on my own. Cool, so I already fitted one as a test on my own, and what you need is a little table so you can prop the solar panel up there. Cool, so first thing first is I wrap up the top part with a blanket because you don't want it to scratch the van like so and now we take it and stand it up on a little day walk
Cool, so I couldn't bring you up for that one, but I'll bring you up for the next one to show you how I fix everything down. But for now, I need to do the same thing for these two more panels. I want to get them up today, so I need to crack on. All right, quick up there, guys. I was about to mount the last panel, but then I realized that it's actually going to cover a cable entry gland thing. So I went and drilled two holes in this, two holes in this rubber thing, and I passed the positive and the negative solder cable through and then now I just need to feed it through here and screw it back down and then we'll attach MC4 or whatever they're called connectors to these to connect to the solar cool so here I am on the inside I just quickly fed these two cables through I drilled an extra hole in case we need to add something extra later on but yeah there's the positive and the negative and now they're just <laughs> hanging but the MPP controller is gonna go there, so we have plenty of length. All right, it's about 4.30. I just finished wiring that thing up. One top tip when you're running the cable through that rubber thing, if you're doing the same thing, is to use soapy water on the cable. And also when you're drilling and it goes, you can pull it through a lot easier, otherwise it's super tight. Anyway, we have one more solar panel to do. It takes about one hour per panel. So I reckon it takes me about half an hour to drill everything, add the rivet nuts, and then maybe another 10, 15, 20 minutes to uh, attach it to the roof. So I should be able to get it all done before Cass comes home. So I'll show you once this one's fitted. Let's go. All right, here we are guys. The last panel is on. All four panels are on. I just need to tidy up the cables and connect everything. Unfortunately, I won't have time for that now because it's 5.30 and it's going to start to get dark. But the tails are here to go to the inside and all the connections are ready to go. One thing about these little cover caps is I'm going to have to uh, glue them because they keep coming off. That Some of them are a bit loose, some of them go on nice and tight, but all these little bits are going to have to tidy up later. What I'm going to do today is put some electric tape on the end of all these connections so this is it for this video guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week where we're gonna wire up the mbbt and hopefully get everything working if you have any questions let us know in the comments and catch you guys next time